Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about this card. This card is a very interesting card. And yeah, I mean, the reason I want to talk about this particular card is I don't quite understand what happened to it. So the card was 19 cents and my friend who traded me for the foil Narset, he now owns about 20 to 40 copies of this card. A lot of, of foil copies of this card and he purchased it for like 19 cents or like 80 cents for a foil. A ton of them. And this card is just bonkers insane right now because it went from 19 to 20 cents all the way up to 4 to 5 dollars. So this card was the Underworld Connections. And you guys know I would always take the Underworld Connection speculation over any speculation. Because you buy for 8, 20 cents and goes up to 5 bucks and you can trade a playset in for 2 fetch lands or... What's 20 bucks right now? Ugin's 20 bucks? You can trade them. You could trade, I mean, there's two foils in this, but assuming that, like, it's not, like, foil, you could trade these two for a fetch land. That's how crazy it was, and that's how crazy it was when I was trading Underworld Connections for Shocklands, like a place of those. And I can tell you, you feed, well, I shouldn't use feed, but you do so well when you hit on a card like this. Like, you, I just cannot explain it, because you're, after you're done your first, after you get four Shocklands, you cover it. You more than actually after you get two shock lands, you more than covered the cost of 40, 80, 60, 180 copies of this card because it was so cheap. It was 10 cents for Underworld Connection. And you get two shock lands, you're good to go. And then every shock land you pick up after is like, I view it as like, uh, it just fell on the ground and I picked it up. The same thing happened to this card. I just didn't pick up on it. I mean, I cannot believe I missed it. Luckily, I did have, <laughs> so I pre-released, I went to four different pre-releases and I pulled this twice and I played it and it was very good, but of course that was good and limited. I didn't feel like it would be good in standard, but it's one of the strongest cards in standard right now. Channel Fireball has this card ranked one as of last week. The card is bonkers good and I've never seen the only card I can compare that I've seen come from like 8 to 20 cents and go all the way up to 5 bucks. So Underworld Connection went up to 2.99 and then it stabilized. This card is 5 bucks right now, 4 or 5 bucks, so it actually has greater upside and it might still be going up. And the foils I feel like are 8 to 10 bucks. The card is just insane. If you invested in foils, you're you're making out like crazy right now, but you invested in non-foils, you're still making out like crazy. And once I talk to my friend, I'll see my friend Friday when we open a few boxes of, uh, oops. So you guys don't know this. <laughs> I'll show you guys. Oh. Okay, so I have five boxes of Dragons of Tarkir on my desk right now. Maybe I should zoom out. Okay, nah, you guys can't see it. But anyway, I opened a lot of Dragon's Tark here. Oh yeah, I guess I'll go this way. Some of the boxes have like cards in it. So we will be opening stuff, obviously on the channel. Um, as I, wow, this box is heavy. Oops, <laughs> Dragon's of Tark here. The box is really nice, it reminds me of Halloween. Bye guys.